Hello again. Now it's been a while since I made a video, but I've just got some new stuff in today. So I've got an excuse to do an unboxing. And it's come all the way from a place called Butterfly in Italy. Mm -hmm. Bound to be something interesting in here. What could it be? Let's find out. So if you've been paying attention to the title of the video, you already know what this is. But let's pretend we don't for a minute. And let's take a look inside. Ooh, what could it be? Mm, I wonder. Actually, never actually opened a parcel on video before. Slips, stuff like that. Let's take a look in here, and here it is Heiko FX888 Digital. A few bits of paper. Soldering iron. Spare sponges, uh, the wire thingies, spare sponges, and the base, power supply, little clicky buttons on it, falling on the floor, and that's about it. And yes, I've just checked, it's got a European plug, and if we look underneath here, 230 volts. Perfect. And just before we start the review, here's a look at what I've been using so far. Now this isn't the only soldering iron I own, but it's the one I use the most. It's a fixed power, 35 watts, and it's quite, got quite a good tip on it. That's not the original tip, I bought a good tip for it. Uh, this is the stand, you know, crusty old sponge, which I should probably change. And, you know, works, does the job, but it does have its drawbacks, which we'll look into as we do the review. Okay, let's get started. I've got my instructions here. The initial setup. Step A, set up the iron holder. So we've got to put the wire and the sponge thing in. Here, yeah, the base. Let's get to it. This is a bit weird. The sponge has got two little pieces in there. Which apparently sort of go down into the base. There's like a big space there. Aha, you see? So you can fill this with water and that will wick up the water into the main sponge. So if you're soldering all day long, it'll keep constantly wetting your sponge for you. Mmm, nice. Well, we're at it. I'm going to put a brand new sponge in the old one. It's not like I haven't got any spares. Let's see. Right there. Let's go and get a bit of water. Woohoo! Look at that magic sponge. This 
see it grow before your eyes. What's that? That's got like an extra bit on the corner. And this one isn't going to grow. But fill it up. Oops, water on the table. Oh no. <laughs> okay, got the table cleaned up. And time to plug it in. Uh, this goes in there. Six pins? What do they need six pins for? Power, temperature sensor. What else? I don't know. Ooh, there it is, ready to go. Okay, here we go. Ready to switch on. Now the on off switch is down here on the side. There. And it's all ready to go. And just before we start, one of the reasons I got this new iron is because this one takes, you know, literally two or three minutes to get up to temperature. If you want to just do a quick soldering job, switch it on, sit there, twiddle your thumbs for two or three minutes while it gets up to temperature. Hopefully this will be a lot faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little test. I've got a stopwatch here. I'll start the stopwatch and we'll see how long it takes to get up to a temperature where I can melt a bit of solder here. So I'm all ready to go. I'm going to start the stopwatch and switch them both on using the power strip here and we'll see how much faster this one is than the old one. Ready? Three, two, one. And we're off. Any sign of life? Oh, 350. That must be the preset temperature. Hey, look at this. Hey, <laughs> cool. So it actually shows you the temperature in real time. 150, 160. Wow. Oh, this is fast. 230, 240, 250. So we should be about solar temperature already. Check it out. Yep, it's melting, it's melting. Under 30 seconds. Wow. Cool. Now let me just use my, ooh, my wire cleaner. Hey. And this one, well, be patient. Let's see. No, not there yet. Just put the stopwatch there. Nothing. Hey, wait. It's just starting to melt. Okay, one minute. 45, we'll call it. Now it's not fully up to temperature yet, but we'll give it one minute 45. Hey, Co. 25 seconds, this, one minute 45. Winner. And the other reason for getting this iron, of course, is that it's temperature adjustable. The problem with these irons is you can't solder all types of components with them. This one, for example, is kind of a medium power iron. This one is too powerful to solder very small components. It can actually damage them with too much heat. And if you've got great big pieces of wire, big pieces of metal, you can't solder them with this iron. It just doesn't have enough power to heat it up to the right temperature. And up till now, for very small components, I've got another iron, which is 16 watts. This is actually my very first soldering iron. It's about 30 years old now. Still working. And as you can see, it has a very fine needle-sharp point on the front. And I use this for very small surface mount components. You know, tiny little things where this would be too much heat. But with the Heiko, one size fits all. You can adjust this up from you know 200 and odd degrees up to, don't know what the limit is, 400, 500 maybe. Let's find out. Now I'm going to see if I can figure out the user interface without reading the manual. How do we change the temperature? Um, press the up button. Nope. Nothing happening. Press the enter button. Nope. Press and hold the up button. Oh, something happened. 
Yeah. Press that one. Hey, hey, you're flashing digits. That's good. Three, four, four hundred and fifty degrees. Five hundred and fifty degrees. Wow, you can solve huge things with that. Six hundred and fifty. Oh, back to zero. 150, 250, let's put it 350 again, how do I enter that? Okay, select the digit, let's put it 351 degrees. Yeah, fail. Um, okay, might have to read the manual. Let's try again, press and hold enter, ha! Flashing 3, flashing 5, flashing 1, can we go up? Press enter. 351 degrees. Hey, if 350 is not enough, 351. Get the job done. Okay, so the user interface is too complicated for me. So I'm going to actually read the manual. Here we go. Changing the set temperature. There are two ways to change the setting temperature. Back in a couple of minutes. You can set calibration, you can set centigrade or Fahrenheit display, you can actually set a password so people can't change the temperature unless they know the password, all sorts of presets. So I've just been reading the manual a bit and this can do all sorts of things but there's only two buttons on the front to control everything. I mean some of them hold this button down for a certain length of time, hold this button down, power it on, you know, do this, do that. Quite a complicated user interface. On the old ones, of course, you just have to dial on the front, turn it down, turn the temperature down, turn it that way, temperature up. Simple. This one, more complicated. I guess that's progress. Now, just as an experiment, I want to see if I can measure the tip temperature using this thermometer here. Now, it's not a great thermometer, it's not a great probe, so I'm not expecting it to be spot on 350, but if we can get it in the right ballpark, I'll be happy. And start with a hay coat, and just let me put a little blob of solder on there so we get a good contact. And this is all brown and sticky, by the way, because somebody's been using it to make toffee, believe it or not. But anyway, here we go. Hay coat, 340, 343. Definitely in the right ballpark. Mm, surprising. And just to compare with the old iron, let me just clean the tip a bit, put a blob of solder on it. Let's see what we get. I'm covering up the screen. Yep. A blob of solder fell off. Let me put another one. Three hundred so three hundred and sixty nine there for a second. But anyway, a little bit hotter than the hay cup. Another data point. Interesting. So yeah, apparently this can measure three hundred and fifty. I mean it was in the right but it said three hundred and forty in the right ballpark. Yeah, good enough for me. So there you have it. Unboxing and mini review of the Heiko. FX888 digital soldering iron. Am I a happy camper? Yes, I am. Love the way it powers on. See those digits counting up really fast? Ooh, brilliant. Now, what am I going to do with the old one? Mm.